At the end of this video lesson, you are expected to, number one, perform the following operations. Letter A, addition of functions. Letter B, subtraction of functions. Letter C, multiplication of functions. Letter D, division of functions. And number two, use the long process of multiplication distributive property and synthetic division to find the product and quotient of complex polynomial and rational functions like numbers functions can be added subtracted multiplied or divided examples Letter A, given the following functions, perform the indicated operations. These are the functions given. f of x is equal to 3x plus 5 and this is a linear function. Why linear function? Because the highest exponent of x is 1. And degree of the function refers to the highest exponent of x. And the graph of this uh, function is a straight line which is increasing since the slope is 3 and the y-intercept is 5. The second given function is g of x is equal to 2x minus 3 and this is also a linear function with slope which is 2 and the graph is an increasing straight line okay the third given function is a quadratic function because the degree or the highest exponent of x is 2 and h of x is equal to 6x squared plus x minus 15 and the graph of this quadratic function is a parabola opening upward it is a very necessary ability to identify what particular function is given by the equation because if you are able to identify automatically what type of function is given by the equation it will give you an idea how you are going to do the operations or the indicated operations in our problem. And the fourth given function is a rational function. Why rational? Because when we say rational, it is a ratio of two polynomials in which our numerator is a polynomial and this is a linear polynomial and our denominator is also a polynomial and this is a linear polynomial if you can see at least one variable in the denominator that belongs to rational function now how are we going to find number one a plus g of x we are going to look for the sum of the function f and the function g the second one g minus f of x how are we going to look for the difference of these two functions g and f three f minus g of x four f times g of x this is multiplication this is addition of function two and three will uh, apply the concept of subtraction of functions and number four is multiplication of functions number five is division of function f divided by the h of x and number six g divided by k of x and number seven we have f minus h of negative one we are going to integrate the evaluation of function in this particular operation of functions okay now this is the solution of number one problem f plus g of x is equal to quantity 3x plus 5 quantity plus 2x minus 3. This is the indicated operation, addition. Therefore, you are going to add the two functions given. Now, in adding or subtracting uh, functions, what you need to do is to identify the terms which are similar. Because you can just only combine terms which are similar. You cannot combine terms which are not similar. So, when you say combining terms, 
you are going to add or subtract. How can we say that two or more terms are similar if these terms have the same variable and the variable has the same exponent? If two terms have different variables, of course, they are not similar. If two terms have the same variable but the exponent of the first term is different from that of the exponent of the second term, Okay, the terms are not similar, therefore you cannot combine. 3x and 2x are similar terms because the variable, the common variable is x and the exponent is 1. Therefore, you are going to add 3x plus 2x and just only add the numerical coefficient. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. Then copy the common variable x and you are going to combine also another similar terms here which are constants. 5 minus 3 is equal to 2. Therefore, the sum of the functions f and g uh, is 5x plus 2. Now, let us proceed with number 2. g minus f of x is equal to, take note our g of x is given by 2x minus 3 minus quantity 3x plus 5. Don't forget to have the pair of parentheses, particularly if our operation is subtraction. Because if a parenthesis is preceded by a negative sign, all the signs of the terms inside the parenthesis will change. That is why don't forget to put uh, the parenthesis here. Because some other students are just only putting the indicated operation without having this pair of parentheses, particularly if the polynomial is more than one term. Now, we are going to remove the symbols of grouping. Now, if a parenthesis is preceded by a positive sign, what you need to do is to automatically remove the symbol of grouping without changing the sign. Therefore, this will become... 2x minus 3 minus the negative 1 times 3x is equal to negative 3x. The negative 1 times 5 is equal to negative 5. Take note, if a parenthesis is preceded by a negative sign, all the signs of the terms inside the parenthesis will change. And that is why from positive 3x, it became negative 3x. And from positive 5, it became negative 5. Or just only use the idea of distributive property. In which, if you cannot see a coefficient, understood that the coefficient is 1. Therefore, you have here 1. Negative 1, then that will be distributed to the binomial 3x plus 5. Therefore, after removing all the symbols of grouping, what you need to do is to proceed with the concept of addition or combining the similar terms. Now, what are the similar terms? Of course, you have 2x and negative 3x. What you need to do is to apply the concept of addition of psi numbers. 2 plus negative 3, of course, is negative 1. And copy the common variable x. That is why you have negative x. Do not anymore write 1 if that is our coefficient. Because 1 is the identity element under multiplication and division. Therefore, if our coefficient is 1, it is no longer written. If our denominator is 1, it is no longer written. Because that is our identity element under multiplication and division. Then, you are going to combine another similar terms which are the constants. Therefore, you have negative 3 plus negative 5 is negative 8. Or negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. Now, if you are going to make this answer more appealing, you are going to have this in factored form. That is why you are going to remove the negative sign. Therefore, 
you are going to have this answer. Negative quantity x plus 8. Now, take note, if you are going to give another best answer, don't forget to check if this answer is the same or equivalent with that of the previous answer that you have. What you need to do is to check negative 1 times x is negative x. Then negative 1 times positive 8 is equal to negative 8. Therefore, these two answers are the same. But you just only give your answer in factored form, particularly if our answer is preceded by a negative term. We will proceed with number 3 f minus g of x. Take note, our f of x is equal to linear function, and g of x is also a linear function. Now, in the previous example that we have, g minus f, and the second one is f minus g. And we are going to observe if the answers of these two operations are the same by and by. So, therefore, f minus g of x is equal to quantity 3x plus 5, quantity minus, quantity 2x minus 3, quantity. Now, what you need to do here, as what I have said just a while ago, is to simply remove the symbols of grouping since it is preceded by a positive sign. So, therefore, the answer would be 3x plus 5 minus Take note, negative 1 times 2x is equal to negative 2x. Negative times negative is equal to positive. Then 1 times 3 is equal to 3. Then you are going to combine similar terms. When you say combining similar terms, you are going to apply the concept of addition of sign numbers of course because you are just only going to add or subtract the quipisens and the common variable will be copy therefore 3 minus 2 is equal to 1 are you going to write 1 before the variable x so don't write anymore if our quipisens is 1 because that is understood to be therefore your answer would be be x plus 8 because 5 plus 3 is equal to 8. Take note, commutativity in subtraction is not applicable. It means that subtraction of functions or real numbers is not commutative. Unlike with the addition of functions, Commutativity is applied. It means that 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And if you're going to have 2 plus 3, that is also equal to 5. Then if you are going to apply this concept in subtraction, that is not applicable. Because 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. But 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 1 is different from negative one okay we will proceed with number four example and this is multiplication of two binomials if you are going to multiply two binomials it is very simple because you are just only going to apply the concept of Special product, especially the FOIL method. What do you mean by FOIL method? First terms, outer terms, inner terms, and last terms. Meaning, you are going to multiply first the first terms. So, you have the 3x and 2x. You are going to multiply that. Then after that, you are going to consider the outer terms. And what are these outer terms? You have the 3x and that of the negative 3. Okay, they are the outer terms. And we have the inner terms. You have the 5 and 2x. That's it. And the last terms are 5 and negative 3. After that, you are going to get now the product and you are going to write that in the right side of our 
equation. Therefore, 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. You are going to add the exponent of the variable. If you are going to multiply polynomials, you are going to add the exponents of the variable. That is why 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And don't forget to get the product of the coefficient. 3 and 2, the product is 6. Then, you have your x, then squared. Minus, we have the outer terms. 3x times negative 3 is equal to negative 9x. Okay, plus, we have the inner terms. 5 times 2x is positive 10x. Minus, we have the last terms. We have 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Then, you are going to combine the similar terms. Take note, quadratic term is only 1. What you need to do is to copy automatically the quadratic term and what you need to combine is the linear terms because you have two linear terms you have negative 9x and 10x what you need to do if the two similar terms have different signs you are going to subtract the coefficient therefore 10 minus 9 is equal to 1 so you have a 1 numerical coefficient here, but it is no longer written. Okay. Then copy the common variable x, and this is it. Then another one, constant term is just only one term. What you need to do is to copy automatically the constant term. If you are going to multiply linear and by another linear, the result is quadratic function. Therefore, the product here is a quadratic function, 6x squared plus x minus 15. And this is our product. We will proceed with number 5. And this is division of functions. In dividing functions, what you need to do is to be very expert in factoring. Because you are going to factor quadratic polynomials so that we can apply the concept of cancellation because this is the beauty of algebra as what i have said in the previous video lesson algebra is a science of cancellation to reduce the answer in lowest term because the word algebra is an arabic, arabic term algebra until such time that it became algebra but algebra is an arabic term which means a science of cancellation and reduction. Now, can you factor the linear term? No, you can. You cannot uh, factor linear term, especially if our coefficients are relatively prime already. So when we say relatively prime, the two integers do not have a common factor except. 1. Therefore, you cannot uh, factor 3x plus 5 anymore. What you need to do is to factor the denominator and we are going to see if one of the factors of the denominator is the polynomial in the numerator. And usually, that is a technique already. You are going to think that one of the factors of the denominator is a linear polynomial in the numerator. So, therefore, this is equal to copy the numerator and you are going to think it is, you are going to assume, but if you are going to assume, it is under validation. So, do not conclude automatically without checking. And it is normal in mathematics to assume. But this assumption will be under further investigation. Because if you are going to assume, if you are going to conclude already that one of the factors of the denominator is the polynomial in the numerator, but the case is, the, is not, so that is a wrong conclusion. You are going to check. That is why we are going to use the so-called factoring. 
Now, how are you going to factor quadratic polynomials? What you need to do is to consider the first and the last terms only. What are the factors of 6? Okay, the factors of 6 are... You have 1, 2, and 3, of course. And what are the two factors of 6 in which if you are going to multiply, the result is 6? You have 1 and 6. And you are going to use these uh, factors to check if the middle term will be coming out. Now, Okay, we are going to check the two factors which are 3 and 2. Therefore, we are going to check. And what are the factors of 15? The factors of 15 are 1, 3, 5, and 15, of course. And what are these two factors? What are uh, among these factors? What are those two factors? If you are going to multiply, the result is 15. You have 5 and 3. Now, this is trial and error. Now, okay. So, we are going to check if the middle term will be coming out. So, therefore, we have 3x times 2x is equal to 6x squared. Check. Now, we are going to check the last term if it is correct. 5 times negative 3 is equal to negative 15. Then, we are going to check if the middle term will be coming out. 5 times 2x is equal to 10x. Then, 3x times negative 3 is 9x. Since that the coefficients or the terms have different signs, you are going to subtract the coefficients. 10 minus 9 is equal to 1. Therefore, the middle term came out. Therefore, these two factors are correct. Now, for instance, your positive sign here will be here and your negative sign here will be here. Is that correct? That is wrong. Why? Because you cannot get the middle term. We are going to check. Negative 5 times 2x is equal to negative 10x. Then this is already positive. 3x times positive 3 is equal to 9x. Negative 10x min, uh, negative 10x plus 9x is equal to negative x. And negative x is very different from positive x. That is why you are going to use the trial and error. And do not stop unless the middle term will be obtained by getting the product by getting the sum of the outer terms and that of the inner terms. Outer terms, here. And the inner terms is here. You are going to multiply the outer terms and the inner terms. And after multiplying the two, you are going to get the sum of the two. And if the middle term of the original polynomial came out, our factors are correct. But take note, you are going to assume that whatever the numerator, one of the factors of the denominator is the numerator. But that is not uh, applied all the times. Then what you need to do is to cancel. Because if you are going to divide polynomials, you are going to reduce that polynomial into lowest term. Then we are going to cancel this one. Okay, cancel. And what came out in our numerator? Sir, 0. Because I already canceled out 3x plus 5. Not 0. Because any number has understood to be having a factor of 1. Therefore, our numerator is 1. And the denominator is a linear function 2x minus 3. Therefore, the quotient of fn x of x is also a rational function 1 over 2x minus 3 okay we will proceed with number 6 this is g divided by k of x is equal to what is our g of x g of x is 2x minus 3 take note you are going to write the 
bar line correctly because I will not accept your answer if the bar line and the negative signs are not properly written. Did you understand, students? Because mathematics is not only a science, but it is also an art of numbers or polynomials or expressions. If you are going to write expressions in a wrong way, that might give a different uh, answer with that of the exact answer that we have. Because only mathematics is exact science. Okay? So therefore, our numerator is 2x minus 3 over and our denominator is a rational function. Take note, the longer division sign would be very opposite to the equal sign here. Okay, 2x minus 3 all over x plus 4. What you need to do here is to apply the concept of reciprocal. Copy the numerator and get the reciprocal of the denominator. So therefore, from 2x minus 3 all over x plus 4, that became x plus 4 all over 2x minus 3. And from the division operation, that became multiplication already. Did you understand, students? Then afterwards, you are going to cancel the polynomials which are the same meaning 2x minus 3 divided by itself is equal to 1 so you are going to cancel and the result here is equal to x plus 4 and this is a linear function did you understand students Okay, now we will proceed with number 7. F minus X of negative 1. Take note, you do no more variable X here. What you need to do, all X's will be replaced with negative 1. But take note of the operation which is subtraction. And what is our F of X? F of X is equal to 3X plus 5. Do not write any more an expression with variable x here because the variable x is having already a value which is negative 1. Therefore, if you're going to write your answer here with variable x, I will mark it wrong because you are going to apply automatically the concept of evaluation of function in which x will be replaced with the number negative 1, a constant which is negative 1. Therefore, this is equal to 3 times negative 1 plus 5. And our x of x is a quadratic function which is 6x squared plus x minus 15. And this is it. Okay, take note, this is subtraction. And don't forget the symbols of grouping here. This is parenthesis, open parenthesis, and its uh, partner is the close parenthesis here. Then 6 quantity, negative 1 quantity squared, because x will be substituted with negative 1, plus, okay, this is negative 1, minus, 15. Take note, we have a pair of parentheses here, another pair of parentheses here, and a pair of parentheses. Then after that, you are going to simplify. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Then plus 5. Minus, don't forget this one. You are going to simplify first the terms inside the parentheses before removing the symbols of grouping. Therefore, negative times negative is positive. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 6 is equal to 6. Then positive times negative is equal to negative. Then 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then copy negative 15. Then don't forget we have still here a symbol of grouping. No? And this is equal to what you need to do is 5 minus 3 is equal to 2 minus because 6 minus 1 minus 15 is 6 minus 16. 
the Jonathan students. And 6 minus 16 is, of course, negative 10. Okay, did you understand? Or you can also have this. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 minus 15 is equal to negative 10. Then negative times negative is equal to positive already. Therefore, you have 2 plus 10. And this is equal to 12. Did you understand, students? Now, we will proceed with the moderate one. Letter B. If f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2, and h of x is equal to 3x over x minus 2, find the following. Take note, this is a rational function, and this is also a rational function. Number 1. f plus h of x. Number 2, f minus h of x. Number 3, f times h of x. Number 4, f divided by h of x. Number 5, h minus f of negative 2. We are integrating evaluation of function in operation of functions. Number 6, h divided by f of h. Okay, these are the solutions, specifically number 1. Okay, f plus h of x is equal to, okay, you are going to copy the first function which is f of x. Okay, f of x is equal to 2x plus uh, 1 all over x minus 2 plus, okay, our h of x is equal to 3x over x minus 2. You are going to say over if the numerator is monomial. And if the numerator is more than one term, you are going to say all over. Okay, did you understand, students? Okay, therefore, 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2 plus 3x over x minus 2. Take note, if you are going to add uh, fractions, you are going to observe the denominators. If the denominators are the same, it means that our fractions are similar. Because you can just only combine terms which are similar. So since that our denominator here is the same, which is x minus 2, the two fractions are similar. What you need to do is to combine only the numerators and you are going to copy the common denominator. And therefore, this is it. The common denominator is x minus 2 and just automatically proceed with the addition of the numerator. So 2x plus 3x is equal to 5x and copy the constant term which is 1 because we do not have the constant term here. Therefore, our sum is 5x plus 1 all over x minus 2. Now, we will proceed with number 2 which is subtraction of Functions, number 2. F minus h of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2 minus 3x over x minus 2 is equal to copy the common denominator. And what you need to do is to perform the operations in the numerator. Therefore, you have... 2x minus 3x is equal to negative x. Why? Because 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. And the sign of 1 is negative because we have here a negative. Then you are going to copy the constant term of the first function because we do not have the constant term here. Now, take note, you are going to avoid your answer in which... Our first term is negative. What you need to do is to apply the concept of commutativity. Therefore, this is equal to 1 minus x all over x minus 2. You are going to apply the concept of commutative property in which a plus b is equal to b plus a. If you are going to interchange the order of the addends, the sum is not affected. Okay, that is why you're going to have this because we are going to avoid our answer, our terms, our polynomials, which are preceded by a negative sign. If we can do something, 
to have the positive sign in the first term, we are going to do everything to have that final answer in our operations of functions. Number three, how are we going to multiply rational functions? F times h of x is equal to 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2 quantity times quantity 3x over x minus 2 and this is equal to you are going to multiply both the numerators and the denominators so you have 2x times 3x is equal to 6x squared then, 3x times 1 is equal to 3x. Then, since that we have the common denominator, it means that x minus 2 times itself is equal to x minus 2 quantity squared. And we are going to expand. And this is equal to 6x squared plus 3x all over x times x is equal to x squared x times negative 2 is equal to negative 2x. Negative 2x times 2 is equal to negative 4x. Then negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. So if we have the square of binomial, you are going to apply that technique. Now square the first, if the operation here is subtraction, minus the product of the first and the second times 2, or twice the product of the first and the second, and that is the middle term, plus the square of the last, and that is the last term. Okay, we will proceed with number four. F divided by the h of x is equal to, take note our f of x is a rational function. And our h of x is also a rational function. How are we going to divide two rational functions? Now, our numerator is a fraction and our denominator is also a fraction. What you need to do here is to copy the numerator and get the reciprocal of the denominator. And from division, that will become multiplication already as long as you got the reciprocal of the denominator. The reciprocal of the denominator is x minus 2 all over 3x. Why? Because our numerator here becomes the denominator here. And the denominator here becomes the numerator there. And our operation, which is division, becomes multiplication already. If you already get the reciprocal of the denominator. And proceed with the cancellation method. If you can see terms which are exactly the same. Therefore, this is cancelled out. Cancelled out. Did you understand, students? And this is equal to 2x plus 1 all over... 3x. Now, do not cancel this one, students. This cannot be applied because this is binomial and this is monomial. You cannot cancel binomial with that of the monomial because some students apply that. Sir, I can cancel this out. No, you cannot cancel that. Okay, did you understand? So, this is our answer to x plus 1 all over 3x. Now, we will proceed with number 5. Okay, number 5 is a subtraction of functions with the given value of x already. This is our f of x and our h of x is 3x over x minus 2 d minus 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2. And what are you going to do here? Take note, if x has already the given value you can you cannot see any more variable x here because all these x's will be substituted with negative 2 already and our h of x is 3x over x minus 2 therefore 3 times negative 2 over negative 2 minus 2 because you have x here and this x will be negative 2 already. So negative 2 minus 2 minus and this is the operation. And our f of x is equal to 2x plus 1 
all over x minus 2 and your x is already negative 2 therefore 2 times negative 2 plus 1 all over and negative 2 minus 2 and this is equal to remove first the symbol of groupings before apply proceeding with the indicated operation okay this is equal to this is negative 6 over negative 4 why 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 negative plus negative is negative did you understand do not make it positive because you are not multiplying the rule in uh, addition of sign numbers is different from the rule in multiplying and dividing sign numbers negative plus negative is negative 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 Okay, did you understand, students? Minus, this is the indicated operation. 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 plus 1. Okay, what you need to do here is negative divided by negative is equal to positive already. Then, you are going to uh, reduce this uh, number, this fraction in lowest term. Because 6 and 4 have the greatest common factor, which is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Therefore, the reduced form of this fraction is 3 halves minus. Okay. 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Copy the sign of the bigger absolute value. And that is negative. And this is negative 4 because negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. What you need to do here is to simplify. Negative divided by negative is equal to positive already. Therefore, you have 3 halves minus 3 fourths. Can you subtract automatically the numerator and the denominator? No, never. Because the two fractions are dissimilar. Why dissimilar? Because they have different denominators. What you need to do here is to look for the least common denominator or the LCD. And what is the LCD? You are going to observe the two denominators. If the larger denominator can be divided by the smaller denominator, the larger denominator becomes the LCD. Okay, therefore, this is 4. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Then 2 times 3 is equal to 6. Minus 4 divided by 4 is equal to 1. Times negative 3 is equal to negative 3. Did you understand, students? And this is equal to 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. Copy the denominator, which is 4. Okay. Our answer of x minus f of negative 2 is equal to 3 fourths. We will proceed with number 6. It means our denominator in the number 5 division of functions becomes the numerator here. And the uh, numerator in number 4 becomes the denominator. We are going to observe if commutativity in division of functions is applicable. And as what I have said just a while ago, commutativity is just only applied in addition and multiplication of functions or real numbers. Commutativity is not applicable in subtraction and division of functions or real numbers. Okay, and this is equal to 3x over x minus 2 and over 2x plus 1 all over x minus 2. And this is equal to, what you need to do is to copy the numerator. And this is 3x over x minus 2 times. Get the reciprocal of the denominator. And this is x minus 2 all over 2x plus 1. Cancel, cancel. And this is equal to 3x 
over 2x plus 1. Take note, the quotients are not the same. And we have already validated that commutativity and division is not applicable. It is just only applied in addition because 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. And 5 plus 3 is also equal to 8. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Commutativity means that if you are going to interchange the order of the addends, the sum is not affected. If you are going to interchange the order of the multiplier and that of the multiplicand, the product does not change. Or if you are going to interchange the order of the factors in getting the product of these two factors, the product is not changing. And that is commutativity in addition and multiplication. Because uh, commutativity is not applied in subtraction. Why? 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. 2 minus 5 is equal to negative 3. 3 is different from negative 3. Did you understand, students? Another one. 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. But 2 divided by 6 is equal to 1 third. And 3 is very different from 1 third. They are not equal. Therefore, commutativity is not applied in subtraction and division of functions. Of course, with that of the real numbers. Okay. We will proceed with letter A. This is now the difficult level. Okay, we are going to apply the long process of multiplication. We have the distributive property and the synthetic division in the next slides in getting the product and quotient of complex polynomial and rational functions. Okay, letter A. F of x is equal to 3x minus 8. And g of x is equal to 2x squared minus 5. Take note, the first thing that you're going to do is to identify in yourself what type of function is given by this equation. So this is linear function and this is quadratic function. And this is a line which is increasing. Y intercept is negative 8 and the slope is 3. And this is a parabola opening upward in which the vertex is along the Y axis because our vertex is 0 and negative 5. And this is opening upward because all these functions are just only basic. And we have already discussed that in the first video lesson that we have. Now, h of x is quartic function. Take note, when you say quartic, the degree is 4. And this is h of x is equal to 9x raised to 4 minus 18x cubed minus 31x squared plus 52x minus 32. Actually, this is just on a moderate now because we have the difficult level in the next slide. The main purpose of mathematics is not to make the simple complicated but to simplify the complicated uh, problems and this uh, complex uh, or this difficult levels of examples are given in order to improve the critical thinking of the students okay it does not aim to complicate the simple things but if we just only give a very simple examples how can we improve our critical thinking, our higher order thinking skills? Okay, now, we are going to find the product of F and H. Now, take note, this is a binomial. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is composed of 5 terms. How are we going to multiply this? How are we going to get the product of binomial and that of the polynomial of five terms? Or linear and we have the quartic function. Take note, if you're going to multiply linear and quartic, the product is quintic. When you say quintic, the degree is five. Did you understand, students? We are going to apply the so-called uh, 
long process of multiplication without variable. And this is a new technique for you, no? We are going to remove the variables. But take note, you are going to arrange the terms in descending order. Meaning, the highest exponent will be in the first term going to the lowest exponent and that will be in the last term. Therefore, you are going to take only the coefficients of our polynomial here. You have 9, negative 18, negative 31, 52, and you have negative 32. And you are going to take only the coefficients of this linear function. And you are going to write your coefficients here. 3 and negative 8. This is it. Then we are going to apply the long process of multiplication. And we can also apply the distributive property of multiplication. But we are going to apply the long process of multiplication without variables in this particular video lesson. Okay, now, 9 times 3 is equal to 27. You're going to write your answer here. Did you understand? Okay, this is it. Then, 3 times negative 18. 3 times 18. And this is negative 54. Did you understand, students? Then, 3 times negative 31 is equal to negative 93. Did you understand, students? Okay. 3 times 52. 3 times 52 is equal to 156. Then 3 times negative 32, 3 times 32 is equal to negative 96. Now afterwards, you are going to multiply negative 8 okay, to all the coefficients of the polynomial, the quartic polynomial here. Then do not Write your answer here. You are going to write your answer below the second term. Did you understand? So therefore, negative 8 times 9 is negative 72. This is it. Then negative 8 times 18. Times 18 is ne positive 144 already. Because negative times negative is positive. Did you understand? Then negative times negative is positive already. Then 8 times 31. 8 times 31 is 248. And this is the answer. Then negative times positive is negative. Then 8 times 52. 8 times 52 is 416. And this is negative, of course. Because negative times positive is negative. Then afterwards, you are going to multiply negative 8 and negative 32. Negative times negative is positive already. Then 32 times 8 is equal to 256. Did you understand, students? Then after that, you are going to add vertically. Okay, bring down 27. Okay, then you're going to add 54 plus 72 and copy the common sign. 54 plus 72 is 126. This is the answer. Okay, negative plus positive subtract. Then copy the sign of the bigger absolute value. So 144 minus 93 is 51. Did you understand? Then you're going to add. 156 plus 248 is 404. Then negative plus negative is negative. 96 plus 416 is 512. And that is negative, of course. Then bring down 256. Now, therefore, the product of f and h sub x is equal to... Take note, 27x raised to 5. Why? Because 4 plus 1 is equal to 5. The copy the coefficients here and you are going to arrange only the 
exponents of x. So 27x raised to 5 minus 126 raised to 4 plus 51x raised to 3 plus 404x squared minus 512x plus 256. Okay, this is a long process of multiplication of polynomials without variable. Okay, now, what is the difference between polynomial and that of the function? Polynomials is just only an expression. It doesn't have the equal sign. Did you understand? Polynomials do not have the graph. But, for example, 3x minus 8 is just only a polynomial. But if we are going to equate that into y, that is already becoming linear function already. But if you're going to have 3x minus 8, that is a linear polynomial only. So when you say polynomial, it is just only an expression without equal sign. So if we are going to add, subtract, multiply, and divide functions, we are adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing polynomials also. Did you understand? We will proceed with number two. How are we going to multiply this? G and X of X. G times X of X. What are we going to do here? We are going to apply also long process of multiplication without variables. Okay, what you need to do is to copy the quipisense of this uh, polynomial. Okay, whatever the polynomial that has the greater number of terms will be the first polynomial to be written. Okay, the coefficients of that polynomials will be written first. Okay, therefore you have, okay, this is it. Okay, then uh, you are going to have this. Now, why? There is a zero here. Because you do not have the linear term. Did you understand? Quadratic, linear term, and the constant term. Do not write 2 and negative 5 only. That will be giving you a wrong answer. And so, we, same with here. If there is a missing term, it means that the coefficient of that term is zero. Don't forget. Then you are going to arrange the exponents in descending order. Now, same thing that you are going to do. 9 times 2 is equal to 18. Then 2 times 18 is 36. And that is negative because negative times positive is negative. Negative 31 times 2, negative 62. Then 2 times 52 is equal to 104. Then 2 times negative 32 is equal to negative 64. Then you have 0 because 0 times 9 is 0. 0 times uh, negative 18 is equal to 0. This is it. Did you understand? 0, 0. That will give you a product of 0. The product of 0 also. And so with this. 0 times negative 32 is equal to 0. Then, uh, you're going to write here. Do not write there because that will be giving you a wrong answer. And so with here, do not write here. Okay, there is a technique that will be giving you a parallelogram arrangement of the products. Did you understand? Okay. So therefore, negative 5 times 9, you're going to write your answer here is negative 45. The negative 5 times negative 18 is 5 times 18 is 90. Okay, we have 31 times 5 is equal to 155. The negative 5 times 52 is 260. 52 times 5 is 260. Then, negative 32 times negative 5 is positive already. 32 times 5 is 160. Okay, take note the, of the arrangement of the product of the coefficients because it is in 
uh, parallelogram form. Okay, bring down 18. This is negative 36. Okay, uh, this is negative plus negative is negative. 62 plus 45 is 107. 104 plus 90 is, of course, 194. Then, 155 minus... 64 is 91. 0 plus 260 is equal to 260. Then bring down 160. Now, the product is what? Polynomial of degree 6. If the polynomial is degree 6, we do not have the special name already. Okay. Degree 1 is a polynomial uh, linear polynomial. Degree 2 is quadratic polynomial. Degree 3 is cubic polynomial. Degree 4 is quartic polynomial. Degree 5 is quintic polynomial. Then if this polynomial is equated to y, that becomes function already. If linear polynomial is equated to y or f of x, which is the function notation, that becomes linear function already. When it's a function, it has the graph polynomial only does not have the graph because we do not have the y. We have only the value of x. Okay. So, our product is g times x of x is equal to 18x raised to 6 minus 36x raised to 5 minus 107x raised to 4 plus 194x cubed plus 91x squared plus plus 260x plus 160. Okay. So, did you understand, students? Now, we will proceed with division of functions using the long process without variable. Okay. How are we going to divide x Divided by the f of x, in which our h of x is quartic polynomial, quartic function, and f is f of x is linear function. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to copy the coefficients here, students. Don't forget, 9, okay, this is negative 18. This is negative 31, and this is 52, and this is negative 32. Okay, now, what are we going to do here? And don't forget to copy also the coefficients of the divisor. The coefficients of the divisor are 3 and negative 8. Now, how are you going to divide? Actually, this is the same with dividing of polynomials using the long process with variable. But what we, did, what we do here is to remove our burden, to minimize our burden, because uh, writing so many variables is giving us a complicated solution. So we remove, but we apply the technique. Okay, so what? we need to do here to do here is 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 you are going to write your answer here so that upon reaching this level it means that you are done with your division process did you understand 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3 then 3 times 3 is equal to 9 did you understand, students? Then cancel it out because this is 9 minus 9 is equal to 0 already. Because the operation here is subtraction already. Did you understand? Then after that, 3 times negative 8 is equal to negative 24. Subtract negative 18 and negative 24. Change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed with addition. From negative, this becomes positive already. Positive and negative, you are going to subtract. Did you understand? Change the side of the subtrahend and proceed with addition. So from negative, this becomes positive already. Positive and negative, subtract. So, therefore, 24 minus 18 is equal to 6. This is 6. Then, bring down 
one numerical coefficient here. Did you understand? Then after that, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then 2 times 3 is equal to 6 already. Then 2 times negative 80, negative 8 is equal to negative 16. Then subtract. Change the sign of the subtrahend and proceed with addition. So from negative here, negative 16, that becomes positive already. Positive 16. Since that you are having different signs of two numbers being combined, you are going to subtract. Therefore, 31 minus 16 is equal to 15. And that is negative. Why? Because 31 is negative. And 16 here becomes positive already because you are going to change the sign of the subtrahend. And if this is positive and the other number is negative, you are going to subtract. If we have the same signs, if you are going to combine numbers, you are going to add and copy the common sign. Did you understand? And this is it. This is negative 15. Then after that, okay... Bring down 52 here. Bring it down. Okay. Then after that, okay, what you need to do is to divide again. Negative 15 divided by 3. If you're going to divide, just only consider the first term here. But if you are multiplying together with the second term, of the divisor is being considered. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. The negative 5 times 3 is negative 15. The negative 5 times negative 8 is equal to positive 40. Then cancel this out. Why cancel? Because from negative 15, that becomes positive 15 already. Negative 15 plus 15 is equal to 0. You're going to cancel if the result is 0. Or if the result is 1. Okay, that is cancellation. Sa in uh, division, no? Okay, if you are, you are cancelling numbers if the result is 0. In addition or subtraction. You are cancelling in multiplication or division if the result is 1. Okay, now, therefore 52 minus 40 is equal to 12. Did you understand? From positive, that becomes negative already. Then subtract. Then copy the sign of the bigger absolute value. Then 12, the result is 12. Then bring down the last integer, the last coefficient, which is negative 32. Then 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Then 4 times 3 is equal to 12. Then 4 times negative 8 is equal to negative 32. And this is cancelled out and this is 0. If the remainder is equal to 0, this means that this quartic function has a factor, one of the factors is 3x minus 8. It means that, okay, f divides h. Because the remainder is equal to 0. It means that 3x minus 8 is one of the factors of the quartic functions. Because the maximum number of the factors of the polynomials is the degree of the polynomial. The maximum. It means that if our polynomial is degree 4, the maximum number of factors is 4. But it can have one factor. Because of the multiplicity. Okay? Did you understand, students? Uh, multiplicity is uh, already discussed in your grade 10 mathematics. Okay. Now, we will proceed with uh, the quotient. Okay. The quotient of x divided by the f of x is equal to this one. Did you understand, students? So, this is 3x cubed, y cubed. Because 4 minus 1 is 3. Did you understand? So, 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 
four. Now, if we have a remainder which is two, for instance, we have a result here is two, you're going to have the quotient which is plus two over the divisor. Did you understand? We do not write anymore zero over three x minus eight because that is also giving you a zero. Zero take note is identity element under addition and subtraction. So did you understand students? I will repeat. If there is a remainder to here, don't leave your answer like this one. You are going to include the remainder. Plus 2 over 3x minus 8. Did you understand? Now, if the remainder is 0, it means that the divisor is a factor of the numerator. Okay. Now, we will proceed with number 4. We are going to apply the synthetic division. How are we going to apply synthetic division in which the coefficient, the coefficient, the first coefficient, the coefficient of the first term is not 1. How are we going to apply the synthetic division? Because we have already taken up synthetic division in which that synthetic division is simple. Okay, because the coefficient of the first term is already 1. But here, the coefficient is 3. How are we going to apply that synthetic division? Now, what you need to do is to enumerate all the coefficients of the dividend. Okay, arrange in descending order. You have 9, negative 18, negative 31. 52, negative 32. Then, you are going to equate this into 0. Then, solve for the value of x. Therefore, our x is 8 over 3. And this is 8 over 3. Did you understand, students? Multiply. We have to bring down 9 here. We are going to multiply, students. 9 times... 8 over 3, what is the result? You can have this way. 9 times or 9 times 8 is equal to 72 divided by 3 is equal to 24. You can have that. Or you can apply the cancellation method. Did you understand? So 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. You are going to write 24 here. Do not uh, think of this first, students. Okay? This is equal to 24. Or you can have 9. Uh, not, listen, the here. 9 times 8 is 72. 72 divided by 3 is equal to 24. Did you understand? Or you can use the cancellation method. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Times 8 is equal to 24. Okay. Did you understand, students? Then after that, you are going to add automatically. Okay. It is not, uh, do not subtract this one because subtraction is applicable in the long process of multiplication in synthetic division you are applying the multiplication and that of the addition automatically okay multiplication and addition automatically do not divide this 9 divided by 8 over 3 but you are going to multiply did you understand? And add this automatically. Do not change the sign of the subtrahend because you are not subtracting, but you are going to add automatically. So if you're adding uh, two numbers with different signs, you're going to subtract. Therefore, 24 minus 18 is equal to 6. This is it. Now, 6 times 8. What is the result? 8 times 6 is equal to 48. Divided by 3 is equal to 16. This is it. 16. Did you understand, students? Or you can have 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. 2 
2 times 8 is equal to 16. Then, you are going to add automatically. So, you have negative 31 plus 16 is equal to negative 15. Okay, did you understand? Then, negative 15 times 8. Okay, negative 15 times 8 is equal to 220. Divided by 3 is equal to 40. And this is negative. Why negative? Because negative divided by positive, or negative times positive is negative. Did you understand, students? Or you can use the cancellation method if you do not have the calculator, students. Negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Negative 5 times 8 is equal to negative 40. Then, subtract automatically. Okay, you are going to combine this automatically. 52 minus 40 is equal to 12. Then, 12 times 8, what is the result? 8 times 12 is equal to 96. Divided by 3 is equal to 32. This is it. Or, you can use the cancellation method. 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Then, 4 times 8 is equal to 32. And, ter negative 32 plus 32 is equal to 0. Okay. Actually, the same thing that we did just a while ago, but we applied the long process of uh, division and today we apply the synthetic division and if we have the problem apply only one which is uh, more convenient to you that is the solution that you are going to apply okay take note in synthetic division you are applying the operation multiplication and addition automatically in the process okay did you understand now after that what you need to do is to, since that our coefficient of the first term is 3, you are going to divide all the resulting coefficients here with 3. So therefore, then divide the resulting coefficients by 3 and the quotient would be copy our problem. Okay, 9x raised to 4 minus 18, x raised to 3 minus 31, x squared plus 52x minus 32 all over 3x minus 8 is equal to, okay, 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. Did you understand? Then 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. Therefore, 3x squared cubed plus 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. Then x squared minus negative 15 divided by 3 is negative 5. Then you have your x plus 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. And take note, if you're going to divide quartic with linear, the result is cubic. Okay. Now, we have here the last. Okay, this is very difficult. Okay, given that f of x is equal to 5x plus 3 all over 10x squared plus 7x minus 12. And g of x is equal to 5x minus 3 all over 5x squared minus 32x minus 21. Fine. The first thing that you're going to find is the product of f and g of x. And the second one is the quotient of f and g of x, of course. And this is our solution for number one. You are going to multiply this to rational, rational expressions. Okay. So 5x plus 3. All over 10x squared plus 7x minus 12 quantity times quantity 5x minus 3 all over 5x squared minus 32x minus 21. If you have this particular problem, we are going to multiply. Now, what you need to do here is to multiply both the numerator and that of the denominator. Yes. Multiply the numerator. 
and the denominator. You're going to multiply binomial versus binomial. So you can apply the FOIL method. Okay. So we have here the FOIL method. 5x times 5x is equal to 25x squared. 5x times negative 3 is equal to negative 15x. 3 times 5x is equal to 15x minus 3 times negative 3 is equal to negative 9. And this is equal to 25x squared minus 9. Or you are going to scrutinize our problem. If we have, take note, 5x is identical with 5x here. 3 is also identical with 3. But the only difference is the sign. This is positive and this is negative. So therefore, the product here would be difference of two squares. So therefore, 5x times 5x is equal to 25x squared. Then minus, then 3 times 3 is equal to 9. And this is a special product that you have taken up in your grade 7 or grade 8 mathematics. Did you understand? Because in general mathematics, the application of the basic concepts that you have learned from elementary algebra, intermediate, intermediate algebra, and that of your grade 10 algebra. We are going to get the product of the denominators. Now, how are we going to get the product of the denominators? Because you are going to multiply trinomial versus trinomial. So, what are we going to do? You are going to have your scratch papers. You are going to show your uh, extra solutions. Because if you just only give the answer without the solution, it means you just only copy from your classmates. Okay, now we are going to use the long process of multiplication of polynomials. Okay, how? This is it. So, what you need to do here is to copy. This is 10, 7, and negative 12. Did you understand, students? 10, 7, and negative 12. And now we have also this 5 negative 32 and negative 21 okay then 10 times 5 is equal to 50 5 times 7 is equal to 35 5 times negative 12 is negative 60 did you understand then after that here negative 32 times 10 is negative 320 negative 32 times 7 I am going to validate times 7 is two, negative 224. This is it. Did you understand? Negative 32 times negative 12 is positive already. 32 times 12 is 384. This is it. After that, multiply negative 21 against the three terms here. Three integers here. Take note, you are going to arrange the product of the coefficients in parallelogram form. Because if you are not doing that, you cannot apply this technique. Because that will be giving you a wrong answer. Did you understand, students? Okay, 21, negative 21 times 10 is equal to negative 210. Negative 21 times 7 is negative 147. Okay. 21 times 7 is negative 147. So, take note. You're going to have your scientific letter students. You can, if you do not have your scientific letter, you can download scientific letter from the Play Store. No? Okay, you can do that. Then we have negative 21 times negative 12. 12 times 21 is the result is 252. Then you are going to combine. Okay. Bring down 50. Then take note. Add. You're going to add. So this is uh, negative 285 because 320 minus 35, 320 minus 35 is 285 and copy the sign of the bigger absolute value. Then all of this 
numbers are negative, therefore, you're going to combine. Okay, you're going to add all the three numbers and copy the common sign. So, you have 60 plus 224 plus 210 is 494 and that is negative. And you're going to subtract because the two numbers have different signs. So, 384 minus 147, 237, and that is positive. And bring this down. Now, take note. If you're going to multiply quadratic versus quadratic, the product is quartic because 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, what you need to do is to copy the problem here. This is it. And this is it. Okay, this is our problem. And copy the product. The numerator is uh, 25x squared minus 9 all over. Take that. 50x raised to 4 minus 285x cubed minus 494x squared plus 237x plus 250. Okay, we will proceed with number 2. Okay, this is it. Number 2, students. Now, if you are going to divide fractions, meaning you are going to reduce the answer in lowest terms. If you are multiplying fractions, you are not reducing the answer into lowest term first. And this time, what we need to do here is get the reciprocal of the denominator and proceed with multiplication. And we are going to factor the denominator here and the factor is 2x plus 3 quantity 5x minus 4. We are going to check if the middle term will be coming out. Okay, using the sum of the outer terms and the inner terms. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. 3 times 5x is equal to 15x. 15x minus 8x is equal to 7x. And that is correct. Did you understand? Times. Then, you are going to factor this one. Now, what will be the factors? Okay, the factors are... 5x plus 3, quantity x minus 7. We are going to check if the middle term will be coming out. Because if the middle term will be will not be coming out after adding the product of the outer terms and the inner terms, it means that the factors are incorrect. So, we are going to check. 5x times x... No, I'm sorry. 5x times 7... Negative 7 is equal to negative 30 to 35x. Then, 3 times x is equal to 3x. Negative 35x plus 3x is equal to negative 32x. And these factors are correct. Now, we are going to check if we can cancel. Now, we cannot cancel. Because there is no numerator which has, which is identical with some factors in the denominator. So what I need to do here is to go back to the unfactored polynomials. Because I am going to apply the long process of multiplication. Because we just only apply the factoring in order to cancel. Because we are going to reduce that into lowest term. Since that, we cannot apply the cancellation method here. And we are going to proceed, we are going to go back with the original functions. In which the unfactored form. Why? Because we are going to multiply. Okay. So that is why. Get the reciprocal. Take note. Uh, if you're going to have the unfactored form of this polynomial, this is it. And so with this one, the unfactored form, of course, is the original. So copy the original function. And of course, get the uh, reciprocal. Because uh, after factoring, 
you found out that you cannot apply the cancellation method. Since we are going to multiply, so what you need to do is to proceed with the long process of multiplication in which we are going to use the distributive property. Okay. Now, we are going to multiply the numerator. So our numerator is 5x plus 3 quantity times 5x squared minus 32x minus 21. This is it. Okay, then we are going to apply the distributive property of multiplication. How? 5x times 5x squared is equal to 25x cubed. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Did you understand? The negative 32x times 5x. So 32... 32 times 5 is equal to negative 160. Then, you have 1 plus 1 is equal to x raised to 2 because you are going to add the exponent. Did you understand, students? Then, after that, 5x times negative 21 is negative 21 times 5 is equal to 105x plus Distribute 3 times 5x squared is equal to positive 15x squared because you do not have the variable here. Okay. 3 times negative is negative. 32 times 3 is equal to 96. Then copy the variable x. Then 3 times 21 and that is negative because positive times negative is negative. And 21 times 3 is equal to 63. And combine the similar terms. Okay. Copy 25x cubed because it we do not have other term with uh, variable x with exponent 3. And combine the similar terms. You have 160 plus negative 160 plus 15 is uh, negative 145 because you are going to subtract. 160 minus 15 is equal to 145. Then x squared minus. So you are going to combine 105 and 96. 105 and 96, 201 x. Copy the common sign. Did you understand, students? And we do not add, we do not have other term, constant term. Therefore, you are going to copy negative sixty three. And this is our product. Okay, this is the product for our numerator. We do not have yet the product for our denominator. Therefore, we are going to multiply. Take note if you are going to multiply. You are going to write first the term with uh, the polynomial with the lower number of terms so that we can apply the distributive property very efficiently. That is why we have 5x minus 3 quantity, 10x squared plus 7x minus 12 quantity, and this is equal to... Okay, because multiplication of polynomials is commutative. If you are going to interchange this, the product is not affected. Did you understand, students? So therefore, 5x times 10x squared is equal to 50x cubed. Okay, you are going to add the exponent. 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then 5 times 10 is equal to 50. Then 5x times 7x is equal to positive 35x squared. Then minus 5x times negative 12 is equal to negative 60x. Minus then negative 3 times 10x squared is negative 30x squared. Minus 3. Negative 3 times 7x is equal to negative 21x. Plus negative times negative is positive. Then 3 times 12 is equal to 36, and that is positive. Then after that, you are going to combine similar terms. So since that 50x cubed does not have other term with the same variable and exponent 3, so you are going to copy 50x cubed. Then you are going to combine 
similar terms. Similar terms are terms with the same variable and that variable has the same exponent. 5. Copy the common variable together with the exponent. Minus. You are going to combine 60 and 21. 60 plus 21 is equal to 81. Copy the common sign which is negative. Plus 36. You are going to copy 36 because there is no other constant term. So therefore, the product of the denominator is 50x cubed plus 5x squared minus 81x plus 36. Therefore, looking for the quotient of this complex rational function is equal to copy this uh, product of the numerator, then that is 25x cubed minus 145x squared minus 201x minus 63 all over. Copy the product of the denominators. And this is 50x cubed plus 5x squared minus 81x plus 36. Okay, this is your fourth assignment. The same direction. Copy and answer the following problems. Take a clear photo of your answer and submit it online through my email address samsudinabdullah42 at yahoo.com or in my messenger account Samsudin and Abdullah. As much as possible, you are going to download the easy scanner from Play Store. And you're going to take a picture of your assignment if your assignment is more than uh, one page. And you're going to convert that picture into PDF so that if I'm going to check your assignment, it is very easy for me to check because the arrangement of the pages is very, very comprehensive if you're going to convert that uh, pictures into PDF. It's very simple because you're going to download the EC scanner. And all assignments, if your assignments uh, are more than one page, you're going to convert that into PDF. Because if you're going to submit many pictures without arrangement of that pictures, so it's very hard for me to check. So it is our rule that assignments must be converted into PDF before sending it to me. Okay, this is your assignment, students. Letter A, given the following functions, perform the indicated operations. f of x is equal to 2x plus 9. This is linear function. g of x is equal to 3x minus 11. And this is also linear function. h of x is equal to 6x squared minus 13x minus 33. And this is quadratic function. j of x is equal to 6x squared plus 5x minus 99. And this is also quadratic function. Fine. The sum of f and h to the difference of g and j of x, 3. The product of f and g of x, 4. The difference of f and h of x, number 5. The product of h and j of x, 6. The quotient of g and h of x, number 7. The quotient of j and f of x x number eight the product of f and h of x number nine the difference of g and h of negative two okay you're going to integrate the concept of evaluating a function in the subtraction of this uh, polynomial functions okay and number 10 is find the quotient of h and j of x. Okay, that is letter A. Letter B. Given f of x is equal to x plus 3 all over 2x squared plus x minus 15. And g of x is equal to x plus 4 all over 2x minus 5. Fine. Number 1. f plus g of x. Number 2. f minus g of x. Number 3. f divided by g of x. Number 4, f times g of x. Take note, you're going to reduce your answers in lowest terms. Let us see. If f of x is equal to 2x plus 5 
all over 2x squared minus 3x minus 20. And h of x is equal to 3x plus 5 all over 6x squared plus 25x plus 25. Then find each of the following. Number 1. F times h of x. Number 2. F divided by the h of x. And number 3. H over f of x. X. Now, you are going to apply either the long process of multiplication without variable, the long process of division, or the synthet synthetic division. Any process, as long as you can get the correct answer, and that process is applying the concept of mathematics, and I will accept your answers as long as it is correct. And I will remind you, if your assignments are more than one page, you are going to convert that into PDF. Because uh, if you're going to convert that into PDF, the file, the the file is being reduced into smaller and NB. That ends our video lesson on operations on functions. And the next video lesson will be talking about the last operation on function. And that will be composition of function. Once again, stay healthy, stay safe. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.